Before I roll the video of how to replace these batteries, I've done four of these replacements now. This one is the only one that after 48 hours needs a new battery again. And I can't think of any reason why. It didn't get wet, it didn't get damaged, it didn't go to get shock. The only difference is, is this was the first Tylemate that had the battery die on me and I didn't have the equipment or the thought to replace the battery for weeks after this thing went dead. All the other ones, I replaced the battery when the batteries were low but hadn't died yet. So I wonder if there's something in the logic in here that it knows once the battery has completely drained and that if you replace the battery at that point in time that it goes into a power drain mode if you can replace these before they're completely dead, I think you'll have more luck. I'd love to hear your experience because I haven't experimented and I want to, but I got to wait for them to die. Um, anyway, the video you're about to watch is how to replace this battery. And I apologize. My desk is a little dirty. It, when I was just about done the repair, it occurred to me that I haven't done a video in a while. And then I quickly went to my desk and decided to do a, shoot a video and I didn't clean it properly and I didn't realize that it was still dirty. So kind of embarrassing, but anyway, here it is, how to replace the battery. Hey, German Pickle here. I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, take one of these tile mates from 2022 that don't have uh, replaceable batteries. I'm gonna show you what I've done to replace a battery. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around edges with a knife with a, a utility knife here and I'm gonna cut all the way around here to break the seal open to get at the electronics on the inside that's gonna expose this here so you're gonna take off you're gonna take out the circuit board here where the battery's on and that's the speaker you're gonna take that out too now the speaker has some glue on the back here some adhesive so uh, it'll be tricky to get out. You may end up marring it a little bit. That's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this 3D print that I created. I'll put the link up to Thingiverse there. If you don't have a 3D printer, library will have uh, 3D printing. In a lot of cities, three libraries offer 3D printers. Uh, the other thing that you might have is, might be somebody in your neighborhood that does 3D printing for a fee. Uh, this it uses such a small amount of filament. It takes 20 minutes to print. They shouldn't charge you more than a dollar or two for this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to put it in here. And this design that uh, I made here for this, I'm I'm put it on Thingiverse uh, free download. I'm not charging for it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this circuit board and this one I've already cleaned up, but this battery is going to be spot welded on here. So you're gonna to need to take that spot weld off. Now you can probably do that with a pair of needle nose pliers and yanking at it. If you're careful, the spot weld will release and you'll keep the, the nickel strip in place. So once you have it off, you're gonna grab yourself your new battery and this is gonna be a CR3. 2032 these are duracells what you're going to do is you're going to place it in here and then place it into there and you're not going to spot weld it yet or glue it however you're going to fasten it. you can fasten it with tape if you don't have a spot welder but uh, you want to get it in place and then put it in here because the alignment here may not be 100 percent accurate to this i modeled it the best i could but i don't know if it will be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery in there and then place it back in there. So once you have it off, you're going to grab yourself your new battery. And this is going to be a CR2032. These are Duracells. What you're going to do is you're going to place it in here and then place it into there. And you're not going to spot weld it yet or glue it however you're going to fasten it. You can fasten it with tape if you don't have a spot welder. But... Uh, you want to get it in place and then put it in here because the alignment here may not be 100% accurate to this. I modeled it the best I could, but I don't know if it will be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery in there and then place it back in there. Just like that. 
So if you look, the motherboard is resting against this stopper and that stopper. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack that down. This is the spot welder I have from, I bought it on Amazon. I will put a link to this in my uh, description below. Uh, no affiliate links or anything like that. I don't do that. So uh, this thing was about 40 bucks. If you fix a couple of your tiles, it'll pay for itself. So and now what we're going to do is we're going to hold that on there and spot weld it. There you can see I've spot welded it. So because I know my alignment's good, at this point in time, I'm going to take this back out and spot weld the other side. All right. There. So now I've spot welded both sides of the battery. Now I'm going to put it back in place. Okay, just like that. I'm going to take my cover, put it over top here, and then I'm going to crazy glue it. But first, I'm going to make sure it works before I crazy glue it. So let me close this here. Okay, so the way I designed it is this is the side where the button's on to push. That's the side those speakers on. So it's the side without the holes on it. Okay, so if you listen carefully, I'll double tap here and you should hear it. So this tile has the find my phone turned off, but, uh, and I will do a find now on it. So the tile is nearby. There you go. And it works. I push the button to turn it off. So now I'm just going to glue it and then it's good to go. So that is how you repair the Tile Mate 2022 using this uh, custom 3D printed case that I modeled on Tinkercad. So I hope this helps. If you don't have, oh, if you don't have one of these, you can use um, tape to put, to hold that down. It won't have a good, good seal, really the best, or a good connection. The best really is, is if you can uh, spot weld that, but Otherwise, that's, that'll work too. So anyway, I hope this helps. It's a quick tutorial on how I fixed a Tilemate 2022.